All right then, gang, so we have our cards right here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can see those a bit bigger. And at the top, we just have image goes here. So instead, we would like some kind of little image, an avatar, if you like. Now, if you go to the docs and type in avatar, then you're going to see how to use these things. But they are pretty simple. You can see right here, this circle, this is the avatar. So it's basically an image which is clipped by the shape of a circle. And they're pretty simple to set up. So we're going to create an avatar for each individual team member right here that goes here. And also, while we're doing that, I want to create an avatar of the currently logged in person. I know we've not done authentication or anything like that, but we'll just do an avatar of me right here at the top. OK, so let's do these things first. Now, before we start, you'll notice that inside the public directory over here that I've placed in five different images. There's an avatar for each individual team member. So this one's me, for example. We also have another here for Ryu, uh, etc. Now, you can get these from my GitHub repository. You need to make sure that you select the Lesson 20 branch because that's what we're on. And then you'll see these inside the public folder. So you can get those from here. So we have those now, one for each individual team member. So we need to output an image for those team members right here. Now, before we do that, what I'd like to do is add on an avatar property to each one of these objects. So what I'm going to do is just alt click these different places like so, so I can do it all at once. We'll do a comma and then avatar and then a path to wherever this image is. Now, when we place something in the public folder, a user can access that by going to just forward slash then whatever the path name is. So avatar hyphen one PNG or avatar two PNG, etc. So it's going to be forward slash and then avatar and then hyphen, I'm just going to do one dot PNG, then, oops, not NG, PNG. Okay, we've done this all wrong. So one dot PNG, got there eventually. And then we'll change this one to two, this one to three, this one to four, and this to five. So now they have a reference to a specific image each. So now when we're cycling through this data, we can access that and we can output it right here. Now we're outputting not just an image, so we're not using an image tag. Instead, we're outputting an avatar and it has its own component. It's V hyphen avatar. And inside here, what we can do is then say image and then the source. We're going to bind some data to. So put a little colon in front of that and we're going to access the person, which is this thing we pass in each time around dot avatar. That's the source because it will be this string right here. OK, so we can get rid of the alt for now. We don't need that. And there's one thing I want to do. But before we do that, let's save it and see what this looks like. So you can see all of those avatars now right here looking pretty nice, but a bit small. So this avatar can take a size property and we can reference what size we would like this to be. So I'm going to pass in right here 100. Save that take a look and that is looking better. One more thing I'd like to do is give this a class and that class is going to be equal to gray and then lighten hyphen two. Now this is going to give it a background of gray, but that background is going to give it what looks like a border as well. So you can see that little gray ring around those now. So that's looking pretty nice, right? We have now our images for each individual team member. And we did that using the V avatar component. All right then, so next up, I would like to go to the nav bar over here and output it at the top of the nav bar as well, right here above the dashboard. So then how do we do that? Well, it's inside the navigation drawer above the list, so we'll place it right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is use a V hyphen layout component because I'm going to use the grid to position this, even though there's only one element at the minute, there's going to be two later on. And this is going to be not a row, but column, because there's going to be two elements stacking on top of each other. And we're going to use this layout to do a column this time around. Now, like I said, at the minute, there's only one element, so it doesn't really matter so much. But anyway, inside this, I also want to align everything to the center. So I'll say align hyphen center to do that. So before, much like we said, justify space around and stuff like that, when we're doing things vertically, instead of justify, we use align. 
And again, if you go to the docs over here, type in grid and go to grid system. And if you scroll down a bit till we get this little playground area, you can see these are all the different options we have when we're working with columns, align center, align end, align space around, etc. We're doing align center, which means they're all going to be in the center, stacking on top of each other in the vertical space. OK, anyway, inside this now we want a flex container for the avatar. So V hyphen flex and that is going to have a class and the class is going to be margin top five. So a lot of margin from the top. OK, so inside here, let's do V hyphen avatar um, like so. And then also I want to set the size of this one to be 100 as well. So we'll say size is equal to 100 like so. Now inside that again, we need an image. And again, we're going to bind data to the source. Or in fact, no, we don't need to this time. We're not cycling through data. So instead, we can just reference directly avatar one. So let's do that. Let's say source equals forward slash avatar hyphen one dot PNG. So save that and view this in a browser over here. If we open this up, now we can see this thing right here. So that's working. Now, if we go back over here, I'd like something like my username underneath that, the Net Ninja. So let's come underneath the avatar and underneath that we'll do a paragraph tag. This will have a class of text or rather white double hyphen text and also subheading. And that's going to control the size of the text and also the margin top of one just to bring it away from the avatar a little bit. And we'll say the net ninja like so. All right. So let's save that and view this in a browser. And that is looking pretty good. All right, my friends. So there we go. That is avatars in a nutshell. We create them using V avatar. We can control the size and inside we place an image.